think, you know, I, I like the direction our program is headed. Uh, you know, certainly last year, you know, uh, you know, tying for a, a Mac West championship, we felt we could springboard that. And uh, uh, a lot of players are back and we're excited about, you know, the, our newcomers. We had two guys sitting out as transfers and, uh, you know, and uh, uh, three incoming freshmen. So we're awfully excited about the chances we have in front of us. Well, I think Ryan Pearson, you know, is the, the, the best name recognition within the league. Um, first team all league, led the league in scoring as a sophomore. I think he was second or third last year. Uh, you know, he's just, he's just, he's just he's a senior and, and, and rightfully so, he's getting a lot of attention. Uh, but the two guys that I think are the most improved are really, you know, Nathan Booth and Juice Brown. I think that's a good thing for us. Both players had great off seasons. Uh, Juice Brown, I'm really excited about how much better he's gotten, and Nathan Booth uh, took a huge jump this summer, so we're, we're excited about both of those two guys. Um, and obviously Matt Smith has been a three-year starter as well, shooting the ball extremely well, um, you know, playing with more assertiveness and more confidence, and, uh, uh, you know, I like, I like the direction that he's headed. Well, I think we're going to have a lot of guys that can make an impact. Uh, obviously, we'll start with the transfers, and that's Justin Drummond from Loyola, Maryland. He's got two years of eligibility with a sixth man of the year you know, in, in the East Coast, Mac. Uh, a talented guard, versatile guard, can play numerous positions, probably play three positions. Uh, but he brings a great deal to the table with his leadership. Um, J.D. Witherspoon is a tremendous athlete. I think he used his year off. Uh, he's a transfer from Ohio State. He used his year off uh, to, get, to get a better skill level. And, and uh, he really has done that. He's shooting the ball well from three, can play off the dribble. Uh, just you know, when he when he when he plays with a sense of urgency at all times, he's a, he's an impact guy. Um, our freshman class we're really happy with. Uh, starts with a redshirt freshman, Aubrey Williams. You know, really, you know, he's gotten a lot better. Uh, his body is in much better shape. Uh, his game is better. He's physical, uh, but he, he's a redshirt freshman that certainly is good enough to help us win a lot of basketball games at the power forward position. Uh, and then the incoming freshman, which is John John Williams, Jordan Lauf, and Zach Garber. Uh, you never know what you're getting until they come on your campus. You, you have an idea as a coach, but you're never quite certain. Uh, and all three of them, to be honest, you, are, are probably better than we anticipated. I'm really happy with all three of them. Uh, all three of those guys will play this year, and, and all three can have an impact in our program immediately. I love how our non-conference schedule uh, lays out. Uh, first of all, the, you know, the spacing of it. You know, We don't have any long delays that like we did in the past uh, because we, we you know, uh, but right now, I, you know, I, I like the fact we're challenging ourselves with a really good ACC opponent, Boston College. Uh, we also play, you know, Kansas, which is preseason fourth in the country. Uh, and then some really good mid-major teams. Cleveland State comes to mind. Detroit's had a lot of success lately. Robert Morris is very good. Stony Brook's picked to win their league. Arkansas State's picked to do well in their league. So I think it's a really good RPI schedule, um, playing really solid teams and teams that should win 20 games and compete for their, their, their championship in their respective leagues.